This is Code.org. Today I'm going to be working on their CS Discoveries course, Unit 3 Animation and Games, Lesson 17, Complex Sprite Movement, Part 11. I see a bunch of code, I want to see what it does. Oh, right, and so we've been creating this in the last few levels. Moving to the left, go to the right. I lost him. In the last few levels. I'm really hoping we get to use our coin this time, but let's uh, find out. If yours doesn't look anything like this, if you can't hit arrow keys and it works, you need to go back and do the last three uh, puzzles. Right, if you're stuck on them, please watch my other tutorials. All right, so let's see here. Add a coin. Yes. In the next few levels, you'll add to, the, you'll add to your program to make a simple game. In this game, the player will collect coins to increase the score. This is a good chance to see how different kinds of movement can affect the way a game feels. And it will also just help you practice programming skills. Perfect. Do this. In this level, you'll just be adding a new coin sprite to the game. You should be working at the top of your level, outside the draw loop, right? Because we create a variable for a sprite once, and then we assign it its animation once, if we're not going to be changing animations. Use the create sprite block to create a new sprite. Make sure to give it a descriptive name, such as coin. Sounds descriptive. All right, so just like this is create sprite, I'm going to go ahead variable, drop this in under character, and I guess I'm naming it coin. Okay. Use the sprite.x and sprite.y property of the sprite to give it a random x and y position between 0 and 400. And that's because our game board is 0 to 400x, 0 to 400 y. All right, so we need to use these properties and think of a property as a variable, right, for a specific object. So for this, it's going to be for that specific sprite. So we're going to use variable equals, we need this twice, okay, then I'm going to grab sprite. And did we want x and y? So that's just its position. Okay, and we have nothing named sprite. We named a variable character and we named a variable coin. Oops, I need to assign it to an animation. Whoop, that could have been a disaster. Sprite set animation. We're gonna set the animation for a coin variable to coin. Okay. Coin for X and coin for Y is the thing we're setting. Um give it a random X and Y position. Okay. So to do random, we learned about earlier, we gotta go way over to math. I'm going to scroll down to random number and just drop it in zoop, and zoop. so this is going to set the y or an x position once at the very top of the code it says 0 to 400 so that's what we put in here and then once it sets this we go into our random loop but the coin will always be at whatever position the random numbers make in the animation tab there is already a coin animation yep we saw that Sprite set animation block to give your sprite this animation. Oh, so we can also do set animation below it, I guess is what it means. Oh, use the sprite x and sprite y properties to randomly set the x and y position. We could also, I think, put this here, but we're going to do exactly what it says. Whoops, control Z to undo. All right. So I did exactly what it says. Let's hit run and see what happens here. Oh, and we can't get the coin yet. Ooh, I moved so slow. Um, not just because I moved slow, but because we don't have the um, is touching function or method, right? So let's make sure the coin jumps around. Yep, so our random is working just fine. Awesome. Test your code before moving on. When you run the game, you should see the coin sprite appear somewhere randomly on the screen. Awesome. Yes, we did. So this is the code I got for that. I can shrink that. Great. Let's keep going.